engine side cover housing let's just kind of you know look at the difference really quick and get on with the show this this side cover housing right here this one is uh, th th this is the one it's, uh, it's the igniter model this particular one used a L low tension magneto the cam is the same on all of them except the understrike we'll talk about them cams in a minute the igniter model had the grease fitting that went right down in the grease went right down in the inner from the top the igniter model had the grease fitting that went in the back back here the uh and this is not much to be said about it because it's kind of apparent that that what they are the uh timing marks i have highlighted with some white paint we'll talk about that later just the igniter model and that's pretty much basic all it is crank case side covers when when you when you talk about crankcase side covers this is this is generically what they are the uh, comprises of a two dowel pins one in the top and one in the bottom the gear and I do have highlighted this one with a the paint on the teeth and you actually can look in the other side of the engine when you're putting this engine together when we are putting this together I will I will, we will show you and we'll look in there and we'll see where these lines up and these two teeth meshes with the single tooth on the crankshaft but this basically um, the back side uh, this does not get a gasket the, these did not come with a gasket and I do apply the and, and the and, the, and the, the repair manual for these engines said not to put nothing here nothing was needed but uh, I do put uh, the brown permatex gasket sealer there uh, kind of for paint seepage I guess but that's basically that cover the reason that we bring attention to it is this cover here is the cover that goes on came off of the bailing war engine 1927 year model and the the, the difference the difference in these side covers you know looking at them just basically looking at them they have the same part number basically they're the same it's EK type that's EK type the difference is the the type of fuel pump that these covers was made for on this one right here you can see that this it has three equally height machined bosses on this side cover the the one here with the uh, alignment pin the one in the front that where the boat goes the pivot boat and then the one in the back here on this model would be the one that has the lever type fuel pump and if you if you put the straight edge on all all three of these planes here are equal this this particular cover here you can use both type fuel pumps on this cover you, you can use the later model with the glass bowl or you can use the one with the forked plunger or you can use the one with the lever would mount this way the other one will mount this way on this cover here that's that we're going to use it limits us 
to the type of fuel pump we can use. Because this back ball shear was, it was never cast with enough metal here to machine away to have a seat for the fuel pump. If you put the straight edge on this housing, these two are in perfect alignment. But if you align these two and that one back there, there is, it's, um, it's, on this particular one here, it's about an eighth of an inch. I measured it a little bit ago. It's about an eighth of an inch. You know, it's possible you could put a spacer in there and rig it up and make that type fuel pump work, but it will always put that in a in a bind it's just really hard to ever line this one up for the correct fuel pump so but in this fuel pump this this housing here you can use the the type of fuel pump that mounts the forked type the forked lever or the glass bowl fuel pump on this housing. 1927 this is. And, and this one I'm not sure to your model on it. Uh, I think it's later. I, I think this is maybe a 19 and uh, 30, 31, somewhere in that range on this one. But that's the way that all sets up for the EK. But let's set this one aside. And, uh, and get back on this one. Uh, if I may, if I may point something out, let's see. This 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 gear is the one we're going to put in this housing, and on the back of here, it has two marks. Two teeth are marked on this gear. One tooth will be marked on the crankshaft gear, and we'll we'll get one up here for show and tell. But I did go through, uh, I just drug out a, a, a few of them here, kind of show and tell, but they, I, I have not found in all of the engines I have worked on, all of the M's, I have not found a gear from the factory that was not marked, even the very old ones. Now, I have found a couple of gears where it was rusted so bad that you couldn't find the mark. But on all of them, and, and they did do a good job on marking their their gears. Uh, they're quite quite well marked. There's that one. And uh, there's that one. Quite well marked. One of the questions, and this gear here, it's, it, uh, it's, it is rusted. The teeth are rusted quite bad, but it's still well marked. It's well distinguished. One of the questions, one of the questions in the comment section was how to put, how to install this, how to install a bushing in this housing right here. 